Welcome to Hillary Topper On Air, the podcast you can't afford to miss. Mother's Day is just around the corner. Now's the time to think about buying that perfect gift to show her that you care and appreciate all that she does. Hi there, it's Hillary here, and this is Hillary Topper On Air. Today, I'm talking with Esther Fortunoff, President of Fortunoff Fine Jewelry in Westbury. Hi, Hester. Welcome to the show. Hi, Hillary. Thanks. I'm happy to be here. So tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, and about Fortunoff Fine Jewelry. Sure. Um, I've been in the jewelry business since probably I was about five years old, learning it at my mother's knee and have been involved in jewelry literally for decades. Um, I now have a new store on Long Island called Fortune of Fine Jewelry and a new website, a brand new website actually, I just changed that. Um, So I've been involved in all different aspects of the jewelry business from buying loose diamonds all over the world and gemstones and pearls and also just working with people to help them find, you know, the right gift. So um, I've got a lot of different experience working with men and women and with surprises or with very exacting ideas of someone who has their own idea of what they want to create, like a custom design. So uh, it runs the gamut. Awesome. So tell us, okay, Mother's Day is right around the corner, and I'm sure you're seeing people coming into the store looking for that special gift for their mothers. What's new and hot this year for Mother's Day? Well, there, there's a lot of new um, variations on some classics in uh, the jewelry world for Mother's Day. So a lot of people are sort of returning to yellow gold and adding that back into their look. Um, and so there's these layering necklaces where you could put a thin chain Um, with just something small and then layer that with something bigger or even a third thing that that's long so one of those items could always be a locket which seems to be very popular for Mother's Day because it can have a picture in it Uh, we also have a new line called with you lockets where they take a digital photo uh, that you send them and then they put it in the locket and it it's usually cool. bigger yeah it's a little bigger and it's easier to see and it comes out perfect um, and those are in sterling silver and gold plate and so they're very reasonably priced um, then another trend that i've seen is not just people buying for their mothers but husbands buying for wives because they're the mother of their children Mm -hmm. and so um we got you know we we do a lot of um rings for stacking rings now um people seem to want to add to their look with mixing and matching so you can have your engagement ring but then you might have a ring on either side of it so that's something that seems to be trending and of course there's a return to color and the the use of all different kind of gemstones and that um i've seen that building for a few years but i was just recently at um, a trade show where a lot of new designers were showing work and almost all of them were featuring interesting different gemstones kind of done in in some in traditional ways, some in like antique looks, and then some in brand new ways. So that was great to see. It seems like when going back to you were saying that yellow gold is really in right now, it seems like you know, a couple of years it's yellow gold, a couple of years it's white gold. Is there any rhyme or reason to this <laughs> going back and forth? Well, that's a good question. I mean, as I'm sure you know, you know, in fashion, they always make changes as a way 
to kind of get you to buy something new. If it if it mm-hmm. never changed and it was always the same, uh, there would be less impetus. Um, but I also feel that, so, you know, that's, of course, one thing. But for many years, um, especially the millennials were going toward white metals, and it was either platinum or silver or white gold. And that was, um, you know, certain people only wore that color, and they had never even seen yellow. But with a trend in general towards a little bit more 80s looks, um, mm. the the hound's tooth um, jackets and the big shoulders that you're seeing in mm-hmm. fashion and like the puffy sleeves. So there's this sort of return to the 80s, and the 80s were definitely about yellow gold. <laughs> so you end up, you know, just seeing um, – more of sort of um, polished, rounded shapes with um, in yellow gold. So talking about some of the old standbys or vintage jewelry, are there any winners this year that people should be focusing on? Well, one thing we do notice, especially when you watch like the award shows, is certain years like everyone is wearing a new or a big earring, and then the next season, you know, everyone's wearing a necklace. So I think it really depends on what you've already got in your wardrobe, but mm-hmm. certainly long sort of linear shaped earrings is um, a trend that could you might see in diamonds or in gold or in silver. Um, and especially as more people have long hair, mm-hmm. the long earring kind of came out of nighttime and has come into the daytime. So you don't really just need to have, um, you know, to save your bigger earrings for nighttime, you can wear them in the day. Um, the other thing that's a proverbial um classic is just big hoop earrings Mm -hmm. and we're seeing that again Mm -hmm. and of course hoops are often great in the summer they're promoted more in the summer Um, but it seems like I mean even my daughter who's 29 is just like oh I want to get nice you know yellow gold hoop earrings (laughs) and it's just funny that um, you know everything comes back comes around yeah, and in that, in the on that um, topic, the return of things that were once loved and then went totally out of style. Um, I'm seeing a lot of pear-shaped diamonds in hmm. engagement rings. Hmm. It, it's yeah, yeah. The That's pear-shaped diamond I- engagement ring is back, and. Um, I, I was at a bridal event and I saw women who already had them. And then in the store, I see people looking at them and asking about them. And it's just funny because, you know, it was so hot and then mm-hmm. it was so not. Mm-hmm. And now it's back. <laughs> it's, it's interesting how things just keep going back and forth. You So I, I guess the bottom line is don't get rid of your old stuff because it's all going to come back, right? Right. I mean, that's true. So we we help people rework things. Sometimes mm-hmm. it's going to come back, but it's going to come back in a slightly different way. So even in fashion, um, when I talk to um, like personal shoppers and people about clothing and I say, well, but I have the big shoulder jacket from the 1980s. And they say, but yeah, but it's now a slightly different silhouette mm-hmm. because you know, it can't be exactly the same as it mm-hmm. was. And um, so you have to tailor it or change it or mm-hmm. accessorize it differently. And it's kind of the same with jewelry. So we are taking some of the 80s pieces and reworking them slightly. Or maybe someone had it and it's not part of their lifestyle now. Their, you know, their life is just different. They don't want a fancy thing for nighttime you know, uh, events. They want something that they can wear every day. And so that's actually one of the most fun things to do is to take pieces and make them current and make it so that someone can wear it with 
you know, in a different way on different kinds of occasions. It's awesome. That's very cool that you guys could do that. Well, before we move on, I have to say that I am so appreciative of our sponsors and I must take this time out to thank them. Please support our sponsors and tell them that you heard about them on Hillary Topper On Air. Special thanks to the Russo Law Group, MedPro, Once Again Nut Butter, and Fortune of Fine Jewelry. And thank you again, Esther, for being a sponsor. So back to you. What are some of the favorite pieces online or in the store that you love right now? Uh, well, um, we got in a gorgeous line of yellow, gold, and diamond made by a woman designer, actually from Israel, that, that I really love. They are just um, – they have such a rich, nice feel to them and an interesting texture and um, I love that it's from a woman designer who crafts everything um, in Israel. So that line I just love. Then we found something new that has a vintage feel. So it's white gold and diamond that looks a little bit like Art Deco, um, but in some new shapes. So some necklaces and rings and earrings. So I really like that because it's well-priced, it's affordable, a woman could buy it for herself, um, and it kind of fits in with other vintage things that you might have. So it doesn't, you know, you don't have to start a whole new look, it kind of blends in with, with what um, your other jewelry is. Uh, I'm also really liking some of the new rose gold and diamond pieces. So. Rose gold is also one of those funny things that goes back in, mm -hmm. in and out of style. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's now finally broken through so that it will be a wardrobe staple and something that people will create like a whole sort of jewelry look in the rose gold. Because, um, I mean, it does blend well with white gold um, also somehow seems that that contrast looks good but um it, you know it, it makes sense to have a few rose gold pieces that will you know blend with certain certain outfits um another line that i really love that's new is and it's on the website but there's more of it in the store um is uh from brazil it's called viana and it's gemstones that you can actually, they're very nice and big, make a statement and you can see through them to the way that they're mounted and you can see um, other stones with them. It, it's hard to explain, but it, it, they're very cool. Mm -hmm. And nice, you know, they're big, they make a statement. Um, that's sort of the counter trend to the teeny tiny demure petite look which I'm finding still is what appeals to most of the younger customers and, mm. um, you know, certainly is good for layering. Um, so it, it's interesting to, to have both the demure and the sort of over the top. <laughs> um, both, you know, have a place in a, a full wardrobe. So you told us a couple of amazing pieces that we should look for when we come into the store or if we look online. Do you offer jewelry for any budget? Yes, yeah. That's actually something that I think is really important. So um, we have items from $50 all the way, you know, up. The sky's mm -hmm. the limit, of course. But mm -hmm. There are many, many things you can find for a gift of $100 up to $1,000. I mean, there's really many, many, many choices and for different kinds of tastes as well. Um, and, you know, some very sleek, simple sterling silver or um, something, you know, more unusual that you're not going to find somewhere else. Um, but... You know, there there's definitely, there's stuff for men, um, not a whole lot, but some, <laughs> and there's um, qu 
quite a few new pieces for babies and kids um, with all of the occasions coming up of, you know, communions and graduations. We have um, very cute, sweet uh, things for kids of all ages and really all budgets. Awesome. So what can someone expect when they walk into your Fortune All Fine Jewelry store in Westbury, Long Island? Well, first, they can find a lot of easy parking there. <laughs> it happens to be right near the Cheesecake Factory in P.F. Chang, and there's a nice uh, big parking lot, and they can get into the store quickly. Uh, that mall is under renovation, so I have to say that so people know that it's easy to get in and out. Um, but th they'll find a warm, welcoming staff who all mm -hmm. have a lot of jewelry experience, and the store is set up in such a way that there's, we move things around and sort of change um, what we feature. And so there's going to always be something different from the last time you were there. And also, um, you can find different kinds of looks at different price points. Um, there's a whole pearl area, which, of course, for graduation and for weddings, pearls are considered, you know, like the perfect gift. Also, I found out that Juliet Gordon Lowe, who founded the Girl Scouts and was wanting the girls to get all different kinds of skills and be outdoors people and learn how to um, be leaders, also did say, at the end of the day, it's good to put on your pearls. <laughs> <laughs> and to have yes and to be awesome. you know that that's sort of a mark of classic femininity and you mm -hmm. should put on your pearls i love pearls so, mm -hmm. yeah me too and i have some cool new gray ones and different colors and i found a new um a new person who who's just doing some different things with pearls um also colored beads um so I'm always trying to find something new, and um, this is a, a almost like a museum kind of look on some of them, like ancient, like you might find it in a museum store. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, it's nice to have something new that doesn't have to cost a lot. So these, all of these things are like under two hundred dollars, and can brighten up, you know, a new look. Awesome. So. Do you have any pieces online that aren't available in the store and vice versa? And if they are online, is there someone who can answer questions? Sure. So we have a website, which is fortuneoffjewelry.com. We answer all the calls, you know, personally in the store and um, can explain things to someone who's looking at an item on the web and they want more detail or we can tell them about other items that are in the store that are not on the website for sure we can't photograph every single item for the website so there's always a lot more in the store and um, there are variations on you know categories that are in the store um, there's not anything that's on the web that you couldn't find in the store generally, although sometimes something gets sold out and lately people are ordering things that are not on the website and I'm saying, well, why are they ordering that? But they had <laughs> saved it, they made a note of it, they printed it mm. out. So um, we can always do special things for people and often we make you know, custom things, or we recreate an old Fortune Off piece that they had that maybe was lost or stolen. Um, just the other day, I had a woman who said, you know, this is my mom's piece, showed me something very old and said, and I want the exact same thing. Hmm. Well, so we had to, you know, do the research, figure out where it came from, try to recreate it. Um, but we do, you know, we do do things like that. We also have a jeweler on the premises who is one of the old Fortune Off um, master jewelers who did manufacturing and also repair and redesign. 
and so he can meet with people and you know go over what the the different options are if they want to redo a piece or of course we can repair things that you know maybe just need a little sprucing up or sometimes you can take a piece and create something brand new without a lot of complication because he can you know sort of see the ways that the, the elements might fit together slightly differently so in the store it's um there are many experts there even if the jeweler is not there that day mm -hmm. um we are closed on mondays and he's often not there on sunday but um the team is quite experienced and so we you know we can help really anytime someone comes in well you have such a great eye for jewelry and for style and everything in the store i i could i could spend hours there i just love it so i would totally recommend everybody to go to fortune off fine jewelry in westbury or if you can't go there because you're out of town Definitely check them out online. And again, Esther, the Fortune Off Fine Jewelry website is? FortuneOffJewelry.com. FortuneOffJewelry.com. newly com. redesigned. FortuneOffJewelry.com. It's newly redesigned. The images are bigger. We put in a section for lookbooks, which sort of give you um, little trend groupings. And I put in different collections. So there's like a red carpet collection or um, wear the green collection um, or, you know, just different ones that, that I want to highlight. So, of course, we're working now on like a spring collection and um, finding all the great things for Mother's Day and graduations. But, um, you know, jewelry is something that really is an all year round kind of purchase because someone's birthday is always coming up or an anniversary. And so we're, we're always trying to find, you know, new things for, um, to, to make someone, make a woman feel great about herself and add to her look. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. And I also want to thank our sponsors, the Russo Law Group, MedPro, once again, Nut Butter and Fortune Off Fine Jewelry. And last but not least, I want to thank you, our listeners, for tuning in. If you want more information on this show or any other show, visit our website at hillarytopperonair.com, or you can find us on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, you name it, we're out there. Have a great <laughs> week. We'll see you next time. You're great, Hillary. Thank you me. are so wonderful and energetic. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.